So welcome everybody. Welcome back to the Energy Play Shop. Today is May the 12th, 2022. And um, as with last week, we, we had fun last week. Oh, at least I had fun. I'm not too sure about you. Not uh, entirely sure about you guys, but it seems like you guys had fun too. So we... I'm going to start as what I've done as last time is to just share with you all the um, flow of the workshop in the beginnings and before I continue on. So the flow of the workshop is um, we're going to, going to do welcoming in and then check in and then um, very shortly I'm going to do a presence meditation, which is a short meditation. And then after that, we'll do how to feel energy within your body. Uh, a couple of exercises with that. And then talk a little bit about how to care for your own energy field, which um, also do a, a few exercises talking about uh, different things about energy. So how to um, detox, energy detox yourself and also what to look out for how to um, increase the quantity and quality of your own energy field as well. So those are things that we will be talking about. However, first off, let's just do our presence meditation. So take a deep breath in. And let it all go. Take another deep breath in with the intention of breathing in infinite possibilities. And then let it all go slowly, whatever it is that does not support your body in this moment, let it all go. And then breathe in again. bringing in infinite possibilities until you can breathe in no more, then start to breathe out slowly. And continue to do this breathing in slowly and breathing out slowly for just a little bit longer. And as you breathe in, bring in infinite possibilities and also call back all of your energy. During the day, you put your attention out to either meet with other people or you may watch television or watch videos, or do other things and whatever your energy you focus your energy out, that's um, wherever your focus is, and that's where your energy is going to be. So during the day, you put your energy out. So right now, in this moment, call back all of your attention into yourself. And use your breath, use your breathing to assist you in bringing back all of those energies that you have sent out, all of those attention, all of the focus that you've been sending outside of yourself, now pull it all back in, inside your body. Just like as you breathe in, you pull air in to your body. So, Bring back all of your own attention. And also bring back all parts of yourself. Sometimes when we think of a loved ones who may not be living with us in the same house or even the same city, 
we don't just send them our thoughts. We may send parts of ourselves to them very unconsciously. So now call back all parts of yourself to you in this moment so that you are right here. And just feel that within your body, within the core of your body, core meaning from your head down your throat to your heart. To your stomach area. So that is the core, the most important parts of you, the core. Just feel the core part of your body. Feel that column of energy that is within your body, all connected. All of your core is connected. And when you feel that column of energy from your stomach and all the way to your head, up and down, all you feel that energy moving freely within that core, then come all the way back into the room and and your eyes. So hopefully all of you are feeling more present now. And now I just want to do a check-in to open up the floor for any um, questions. That's from, if you've been practicing doing like from, from Last week to this week, do you have any questions? Anything that you want to comment on, please, um, now is the time to ask. If not, it's okay as well. I just have a question. Sure. So when I move through my body like Force and fire, or when I move the water, yeah, I don't feel difference in my body, like as as an energy. I just imagine then I move it. I I feel some wave coming out, but I don't feel the difference like between these elements. Okay. Um, do you feel any difference between ether and um, let's say ether and earth and fire energy? I didn't practice ether. I practice uh, earth and fire and water. Um, did you practice earth and fire when you're in your shower? No. Okay. As um, well, like water also not in the shower. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I am not sure why. However, um, don't be concerned about that yet. Because it's the sensitivity of different elements. It's something that you grow into. So this is just the first week. So don't, don't be too concerned if you don't feel the uh, difference between you know, different uh, using different elements. And, and the other thing I want to suggest is that um, you may not feel it in, it may not feel different to all of your body, but try to see if you feel a difference in some part of your body. Because um, Different things happen, different things happen. Um, what I'm trying to say is that 
different areas of your body has different build up. So maybe one part of your body needs or requires um, the, the earth and fire energy in order to sort it out, sort itself out, to unblock itself. And then other parts of your body may require more of a water element in order to sort itself out. So just pay attention to how each part of your body um, feels and see if you can feel a difference in that way. So, but on the whole, um, not something to be concerned yet. Um, this is something that as you go along, you will get more sensitive. And also the other thing that you can do is to, to really become more sensitized is um, when you go on walks where you be able to be near water or even when you're in your shower, just feel what water feels like within your body. Okay, thank you. And also when you are, um, when you see, like usually when you um, light a, a candle, not, necess not necessarily, or if you, or actually if you um, see or, or go actually Google a video that has a burning fire and just connect to that fire and then connect to the element of fire and see how that feels in your energy. Um, to tell you the truth is that some, like in, in the olden days, the shamans, each shaman, um, they, they familiarize themselves with different elements by spending, uh, like sometimes maybe a year, sometimes maybe even more than a year with each element in order to really familiarize themselves with that um, because they are using it to heal other people as well. So that's why they really um, want to ground themselves in each of the elements. So this is, this is actually a practice that shamans used to do. Uh, you guys are not shamans, neither am I. So, and you're not, and we are not talking about healing other people. This is just for ourselves. It's really very elementary energy, feeling energy and knowing the difference. So just um, however, if you really are interested in getting better at it, to be able to start um, feeling the difference of the energy is one of the ways is to actually just connect to each element and just pay attention to what that element does to your body internally. So that's one way to really connect with each of the elements. Something that you can do if you wish to um, really get better at it faster. Okay. Should I put my uh, hands on oars? Just to feel the oars and do that. my hands around the fire. Absolutely. Yeah, you, um, of course, if you, you can't put your hands in the fire, but you can just, um, if you, if you have a candle, if you play with a candle, just be as close to it as it's comfortable for you. So you get a sense of it. And you don't actually need a candle. You just need to have something in front of you. You can actually imagine it, but um, when you're beginning, I would actually uh, suggest at the very least have a, a video of like a, a really, like a, a bonfire. Just Google, um, Google on YouTube bonfire. So something so that you can visually see a, a fire and really connect with that energy and see how that feels in your body. That's one way of starting to familiarize yourself with different energies within your body. Okay, any other questions, comments for things that we've covered last week? 
Yeah, what is a smoke part of the elements? Um, small parts. A smoke. Oh, smoke. Yeah. Um, smoke is part of the fire, or uh... smoke is 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 a result of the fire burning. So uh... it's a result of the fire burning. However, it yeah. is it's. I don't know to, to tell you the truth. Um, I haven't really considered it, but um, within, within the, the um, within air, there is water yeah. particles, there is yeah. air. So it is water um, interacting with those. Okay. So it is not precisely fire. Mm -hmm. It's, um, it's it's fire plus water and whatever elements are all and whatever else is within the the atmosphere that the fire is is transforming. Mm -hmm. So um, that's my best guess. Yeah, because I I feel uh, I resonate with uh, with the smoke quite a lot really, and um, and it can hypnotize me. Much quicker, even looking at the fire flames. Okay, yeah, um, it's it's interesting. Yeah, some like does not even have to be smoke. It could be like with if you have a hot um, glass of water, you can see yeah. the, the the steam the steam coming up. Yeah, mm. that 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 would work too. Yeah. But hey, now you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, maybe a, a, a good question to ask yourself is, what does the smoke remind you of? Great, thank you. Yeah. Because it is, um, we used to, um, as a tribe, like a long time ago, we used to gather around a fire and people would like at, at, in the nighttime before people go to sleep, we gather around a fire as a whole tribe or community. And we um, look at the, the smoke go up, we talk to each other. Sometimes they may share um, stories during the day and all those. So we actually within our own um, DNA, we, we have that memory. So that's why I'm trying to ask you to ask yourself what, because it's it feels like that that smoke may be taking you back to some of those memories. All right, thank you. Yeah, and also it's uh, it's, it's smoke also sometimes in in my tribe is form of communication. Say for example, if you see the smoke from the top of the mountains, it differs. So if in this side or that side, you know this something happened or this happened or that happened so see yeah. okay cool yeah nice nice thank you for adding that and yeah that that too smoke is one of the things that we use for creative ways yes okay any other questions comments okay if not then i'm going to start today's material Okay, so I'm gonna um, share screen again. So today's material, we're down to here. So how to feel energy within your own body. And um, so I am going to do, um, so first thing is activate your hands again because before we um, move into feeling energy within our own body, I want to use your hands again to assist you. And then we will do some exercise to start to move into feeling energy within your own body. Okay, so let's, um, let's all activate our hands, activate your hands, okay. So I'm going to demonstrate 
um, how to feel energy. Uh, I call this tracing, tracing your hand or tracing your arms um, exercise. So first activate your hands. And then what you do is just pick a hand. I'm, I'm using my right hand. And what I'm working with is I'm tracing my left. Now I can try to put, put my hand in, in the right place. So, okay, so this is what I'm trying to do. Okay, so let me move it all the way here so I won't be... Okay, so, uh, <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing is using my right hand, I'm going to trace my whole left hand. So I'm going to do that for you so you know what to do. So with my right hand, I start from my heart. And you can, I have it um, maybe about, two, two and a half inches above or, or away from my heart. So what I do is I start from my heart. And it's a good thing to start from your heart because your heart uh, has an energy field that is stronger. It's one of the strongest energy field um, within any of your own organ. So your heart has a strong energy field. So what you want, so it's easier for you to actually start feeling that energy field. So your right hand, start from your heart. So what you want to do is you go through the, um, go to the, your shoulder, and then you start to trace first the, your left arm by using your palm to face the inner arm first because your inner arm usually is more sensitive than your outer arm so trace meaning just use your palm to face or look at your inner arm and this pay it first time is to pay attention to what your palm can feel so pay attention to your right palm so you would get to where the tip of your fingers, and when you get to the tip of your fingers, you flip your left hand. <laughs> and then you, now you use your palm to trace the outer arm, the outer left arm. And you go all the way up the shoulder, and then from the shoulder, you come back down to your heart. So that's using your right arm, using your right palm to trace your left arm. And then you do the opposite side. Same thing as you start your left palm looking at your um, heart first. And then you go to the top of your shoulder. And you go then use your left palm to face the inner arm of your right arm. You trace your inner right arm all the way to the palm. And then you flip your right arm over and then you trace the outside of your right arm all the way back to the shoulder and then come to your heart. Okay, so that's what you do to trace. So do it quickly is like this. Get the hand just from. And you adjust your, um, the arm that is being traced to however it is to make it easier for yourself. I have to put my arm um, in a little um, less convenient because I want to be, you guys can see me in, in the screen. And the first time you do that is to concentrate on the palm, what you feel in your palm first, 
Okay, so you guys do that. Okay, let's let's do it all together then. Then just pick and pick a one arm that you want to trace, and then use the other palm facing your at first, and then go all the way up to your shoulder. And then when you come back down, use your palm to face your inner arm. And just focus on what you can feel in your, like in this case, my right palm. Focus what, you, what my right palm is feeling or what your palm is feeling. And then when you reach the tip of your fingers, Flip your arm over. So now your palm is facing the outer arm. Outer arm meaning the arm, the part of your arm that actually sees more sunlight. That's how you can tell which part is outer and inner. And then go all the way up and to you, up to the shoulder and back down to your heart. So, so far, any questions? We've done one part. So when I trace, I don't feel this uh, uh, this is tracing hand. I, I feel I feel pressure on the hand. Okay. Just traced. Anything to cure sore throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's finally catching up with me, all the stress. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> I think mean, stress is uh, catching up to uh, some other people as well. But mm. anyways, um, we'll do the, the hands first and then we can actually do the, the head. Okay. Yeah. I just felt Good. like a magnetic field and um, the sensation of magnetic, just like you have got a magnet and you feel that pulsations in, in both hands. But I feel my left hand is much stronger than my right hands. Yep, that's that's true. Yeah. Yeah. We kind of found out um, last week that one of your palms is more sensitive than the other. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's but that's yeah. okay. Over time, both palm will become just as sensitive. Mm. So yeah. So, so this is like healing. It's for healing. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> the and so now do the other side because we we've, so so that we we be we are balanced. Okay. So do the other side. So now use the other hand, and um, you may want to mute yourself so there won't be an echo. So use the other hand now. Start from the heart. Go to shoulder and then come back down to use your palm to face the inner arm and then when you get to the fingers you flip your hand over so that you can use your palm to trace the outer arm go all the way back up to the shoulder area and then get back into the heart Okay. So, um, uh, Tatiana, you you mentioned that uh, your the palm is not facing; it's not uh, picking up anything. Um, I'm sorry. When I did now, was a was I I was feel with the left hand when I trace with right hand, right? Now, when I trace with left hand, I still feel more with left hand. It means my left hand more sensitive, right? Okay, okay, good. Now you know. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Um, the, so next time when you, when you do this again, is to maybe, you know, activate that your hand a little bit more 
Okay, really feel activated and then see if that makes any difference. It may not, or it may. So those are some of the things that you can do, but given like with time and practice, um, you will, even with your less sensitive hand, you will start to pick up, but in some, initially, yes, you will feel one hand is much more sensitive than the others. It is possible. I'm not saying that it has to be that case, but a lot of the times that is the case. So. Thank you. Okay. So, so now the other thing, let's do this again. Let's do one more round. And this time is to not focus on the palm, but focus on the arm, how the arm that's being traced feels. So you, now you're, we're moving into focusing on how you feel the energy within your body. So not just using your palm. So you want your whole, you want to start to um, focus on what your arm feel. Okay, so let's, you know, activate our hands again. So I'm gonna start with using my right palm at my heart and I will trace my left arm. So go up to shoulder area. Now I'm, my attention is on my shoulder area. See how it, focus on how it feels. And then I move down to my left inner arm and now focus on how my inner arm feels when my palm, my, when my right palm goes over it. Now I'm at my inner elbow, focus on how my inner elbow feels, the energy. Now moving along to my left wrist, focus on my left wrist, how it feels the energy. And then of course my left palm would feel energy. And then now I'm gonna flip. And now focus on my left outer. So it's the other side of the palm, how it feels the energy. And then the wrist area. And then go through up to the elbow area of my left arm. Focus on the elbow, see if the elbow feels anything there. I don't feel anything at my left elbow yet. I mean, my right palm can feel things, but not my left elbow. So now move up the left upper arm all the way up. And focus on how the left arm is feeling the energy up to shoulder, left shoulder, and then all the way back to heart, okay? So I'm doing it slowly because usually when you're working with um, the body, feeling the energy of the palm going through it, it takes... Um, initially, if you do it too fast, you may not feel it. So slow down so that your body, the, the idea is for your the arm that is receiving the, like having that energy going through it, being able to feel it. Okay, so go slow. So now let's do the other arm. So now I'm using my left palm at my heart and I'm focusing on how my heart can feel the energy of my left palm and then now start to move left palm up and notice how <clears throat> your right collar because now I'm kind of moving up to the collarbone area 
how that feels, energy going through it. If it does not, that's okay. Maybe the first time or first couple of times your body is not too sensitive yet. So now I'm up to the right shoulder and I'm going to send energy from my left palm to my right inner arm. So do that slowly and now just focus on your right inner arm, feeling energy. In and out. Right in the arm. And relax your right arm. Because when you relax, you can feel energy better. Now I'm at my right wrist. And then when you so flip when you go to go over to the right outer arm and then just feel focus on your right arm being able to feel the energy of your left arm going through it and we go all the way up now to my right shoulder and just pay attention to what my right shoulder feels or what your right shoulder feels when you have the palm over it and then the collar bone area on your right and then all the way back down into your heart. Okay, any questions, comments so far? When I trace with my right hands, when I did um, shoulders and collarbones, I feel so much energy. I feel tingling in my shoulder blades. Mm. When I did with my left hands, I also feel that energy in my shoulder blades, but much less. Okay. <clears throat> so this is just the first time. Um, for you to kind of feel energy with your body, not just with your palm, because your palm um, is more sensitized um, because that's, we use our hand to feel things, um, not necessarily energy, but our hands has been kind of, we, we use our hands to feel things a lot. So there's a lot of, nerve endings in our palm area. <clears throat> so the rest of the body does not have as many nerve endings. So it's not as sensitive. So it is a learning process. And now we're actually teaching our body to feel energy. And um, or <clears throat> oh, to, to feel energy and in a very um, focused way. So um, somebody asked a little earlier, can we heal ourselves like this? And, I, and my answer is yes, absolutely. The, so I want to explain a little bit. The reason why is that um, there are a couple of reasons why. So the first thing is when we do this, we are actually smoothing our energy out. So we're actually smoothing our energy out and very um, gently. So we get ill or we may develop illness if energy is stuck. But when we actually intentionally smooth our energy out, we are actually intentionally unstuck uh, or de-stucking ourselves. So that's one way. And the, 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 the other way is that we... Um, so, so what's the other, the reason why? I forgot. Um, there's more than one reason right now. I'm all of a sudden drawing a blank. So it'll come back to me and I'll mention it when it comes back to me. Um, first thing is, yeah, 
you are <clears throat> you are in in fact moving energy around so that's definitely you would start to um it's not it's not going to be an instantaneous healing but if you do this consistently then you are consistently smoothing out any areas that has energy build up be, because it's, there's some stuckness there so if you do that then it actually facilitates your body to um have more even flow of energy now the other way is that you actually intentionally put an intention so not just do this because right now we're just feeling energy the other way is you actually <clears throat> hold the intention so intention that you can hold is that you want to um with with intention send energy to the part of your body that it really needs it most and to smooth out any energy and also you can do things like i'm sending um energy of all five elements so that my body will take in whatever it is that it needs at that time so that's another way that you can do to intentionally start to heal your body and also i want you to ask yourself this um, do you feel better after you've done this now we've done trace our, our, our like both arms two three times now so how do you feel do you feel actually any different from beginning of, of this workshop or play shop yeah it, it does feel better yeah okay great thank you makes for a little noticing. difference yeah thank yeah. you for noticing i, I feel good i like i took a shower <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that will help too. Yeah. Shower of energy. <laughs> oh, that's what you mean. Okay, sorry, I didn't I didn't catch it the first time. Okay, shower yeah. of energy. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a nice, that's a nice thought. I like that. Mm -hmm. So um so earlier on someone mentioned so anything to heal with a sore throat. Um, we just did the arm. However, this is something that you do the, for the rest of the body as well. So for the rest of the body, so I'm going to still do the, um, the upper body. So let's finish the upper body. So for <clears throat> the, for your, like from the heart up to the head area. So the way to do it, I'm going to demonstrate first and then we can do it together. Is you have both of your palms. So about two, two and a half inches away from your heart area first. And then what you do is you start to move up. And the first time we do this, we're gonna just focus on how, what our palms feel. So you move up your palms and just focus on what your palm feels. And then when you get to your neck area, then separate your palms so that your palm face both sides of your head. And so you go to both sides of your head. So your palms is kind of tracing the outside of your head all the way to, I'm trying to scoop down a little, all the way to the top of your head, okay? And when you get to the top of your head, you come back down, you, you kind of, your palms coming back together again, and you use both palms and you just um, trace <clears throat> the front line of your face. 
until you get up to get down to your um, chin and then neck and all the way back to your heart. Okay, so that's what we do for the hip. <clears throat> um, okay, so now um, let's all do this together again. Activate your hands. Activate your hands. Okay, nice and good activation. Both hands come together in your heart. Focus on how your palm is feeling as you start to move your palms up to your neck area. And then you start to separate your palms so that you are kind of going from your, the middle of your throat out to the side of your neck. And then you start to <clears throat> trace the outside of your head with both palms. You go up all the way so that your palms meet the top of your head and, and come together. And now you have your both palms together and you use your palm to come to down the middle. So you are, your palms will be going over where your third eye may be. And then your nose. Just feel what your palms are feeling through over those areas, down to your chin area. And kind of start to go under the chin, tracing your neck area, all the way back down to your heart. Okay, any questions so far or comments on how you feel? It's pleasant. <laughs> yeah, it is quite nice because you're actually giving your top part of, of your head. Um, yeah, there are so many different glands that's within your head. And so you're just feeling that. Okay, so let's do this again. And this time, focus on not your palms. Now, focus on from your heart, focus on how your, let's say, chest feel when the, your palms go over it, how your neck feels when your palms over it, and how the, your, like, your, your head, where your palms go over it how that feels, okay? So let's do this again, activate our hands. And then go start with both palms together. Now focus on how your heart feels. And then start to move your palms up to upper chest. Focus on how your chest feels. Move up to your neck. Focus on how your neck feels. Now, as you fan out your palms, focus on how your neck feels. Focus on how the side, both sides of your neck feel. And now start to move up. Focus on how your, around your ears area, both sides, how it feels. I can feel the pressure, a little bit of pressure when my palms go over certain areas of my head and then have your palms come together, the top of your head. And then now focus on, as you move your hands back down, focus on how your head in front, the front line of your head, where your third eye is now, 
focus on how your third eye responds to those energies that's coming from your palm. And then focus on the bridge of your nose and then your nose, tip of your nose. And then focus on how your lips feel the energy of your palms. Chin. And then the tip of your chin, there is actually a, there's an energy point there. So focus if you can feel that in your chin. And if, see if your neck, midline of your neck feels the energy. Now back down. all the way down to your heart, okay. I have a question. When you put the palms one on top of the other, they shouldn't be touching, yeah? They should, yeah, they touch. They touch each other? Touch, yeah, they can touch each other. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's fine so to have them. There's only one hand that is feeling the energy. Um, that's okay. And, and for me, when my uh, fingers touch my skin, it's extremely uh, ticklish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's a lot of energy there. Yeah. Okay. And, and for me, this time, I felt like when we went down next to the ear, I feel that I have problem, some problem with my left ear and then something in my throat as well. Okay. So I feel that it start talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> nice noticing, okay. Great. So that's I feel heat. When I do this, a lot of heat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, great. Everybody feels the energy a little different. Yeah. And sometimes it'll be tingling. Sometimes it may be heat. Sometimes, like for me, I feel um, just a little bit of pressure. So that's, that's okay. So now we are getting to the bottom part. Okay. So... <clears throat> This. So for the bottom part, um, to make it easier for me to demonstrate that, I'm going to introduce you to my demo partner. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is Aquaman. This is my demo partner because I'm going to shift my screen down so that you can actually see more of uh, Aquaman. So you, oops, so you kind of know what to do because I, um, I can't really show you my how to do this. So I'm going to show you with um, me using my fingers as my palm to show you how to do your um, for yourself. How do you do the same thing but with the lower part of your body? Okay. So you stand up. So even if stand I stand up. Yeah, even if I stand up, you, you won't be able to see my leg. No, no, I'm, I'm talking stand. about us. Should we stand up? Oh, let me demonstrate first and then you can you can, okay. you can show up. Oh, okay. I let's see. Okay, great. Back here. So so I'm gonna geez. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate first. So my two fingers uh, will will be my palms, okay? So my palms will be starting at my heart first. Uh, let me see where's the part. heart. Okay, so my heart. So about two, two, two and a half inches away from my heart area. So I'm gonna go down to my belly button area. And then go all the way down to just under the crotch area. And then my 
palm would be facing the inner leg. So same thing is when you come down to the crutch area, the palms would be separating at some point so that your palms would be facing your inner leg. Inner leg being the, the part of your leg that does not receive sunshine normally, or too much sunshine anyways. So you have your palm all the way down to the ankle area, then you kind of um, just angle it out to the outer part. So now you use your palm to trace the outer leg. Go all the way up to hip area. And then when you get to the hip area, you can come all the way back into up the, the belly button and all the way back up to your heart. Okay, so do you understand? what I'm trying to show you? Yes. With this mannequin? Yeah. Okay, great. So now we can all do it, but a couple of things first is, <clears throat> um, you can do this sitting. So for people who maybe cannot move around um, too, too much, or if you have any kind of low blood pressure or, or high blood pressure, because uh, if you're actually doing this standing up, your head, you'll be lowering your head. Okay, so I just want to give that warning is if you have any concern whether you can do this safely or not, you can actually sit and do this. Okay, so you don't necessarily have to stand up to do this, okay? So having said that, let's, um, let's do that. So once again, you start by activating, <clears throat> start by activating your hands, okay? I'm gonna stand up and you may not see me too well. Oh, okay, no, you can't see me too well. The, the camera does not want to work too well with this. So I'm gonna just stay put then. Then use your hand, start at your heart area and then just focus on your palms the first time. So move down all the way down to your belly button area. And then when you get to your belly button area, you can start to move your palms down now to just below your crotch area. And then you can start to separate your palms so that the back of your palms will be facing each other now and your palms will be facing the inner thighs. So your right palm will be facing right inner thigh and left palm facing left inner thigh. And then you start to go down, still tracing the inner leg down to knee area and then all the way down to ankle. And when you get to ankle, you just go over your ankle to the outer side of your ankle. And you start to move back up slowly. Your arm facing the outer leg the outer side of your leg and you move up to your ankle area and then move back up to your hip bone area of both sides, left and right, palm still facing. And then when you get to the hip area, then you come back into your body so that both palms Neat at the belly button. And from your belly button, you come all the way back up to your heart. Okay, any questions before we do the, do it again? Concerns, anything? 
Not really. I like it. <laughs> okay, so let's do this again. This time the emphasis is on feeling the energy of your palms with your legs. Okay, so activate your, your palms and then, okay, start at the heart area and then with both palms, maybe about two and a half inches away from your body, you go down to your belly button area and you, because you're going in front, so you go all the way down to just below your crotch area. And now you have the back of your palm for both hands facing each other. So your right palm is now starting to trace your right inner leg and your left palm is now starting to trace your left inner leg. And now feel, just do it very slowly. Use your legs, both inner legs to feel, to see if you can feel the palm, the energy from the palm. So pay attention to your inner leg. Move very slowly until you get to knee area and see if your inner knee, if your inner knee can feel energy from your palm and then start to move down very slowly. Emphasis on allowing your inner leg on both sides to feel your palm. and go all the way down to ankle, the inner ankle. When you get down to the inner ankle, then you just move to the outer ankle on both sides. And then now start to move up. And then feel the energy of your palm with your outer leg. So move very slowly until you get up to the outer knee and then go on to the outer part of your legs and then come all the way back to your hips, both sides of your hips. And then from your hips now, your, your palms can start to move back in to head over to your belly button. That's when both palms can come back together over your belly button and see if your belly button can feel when the energy from both palms are there. And then move up. See if your stomach can feel it. And all the way back up to your heart. Any questions so far? It's just, harder to feel with the clothes on. It's harder to feel with clothes on, yeah, yes. I do feel, I feel that like warmness, even after I remove my hands, it's like, it feels like I give love energy to my body. <laughs> you did. Which I never did before. <laughs> you did give love energy to your body. <laughs> okay. So we've done two times, and now I want to um, start to move on to something else. Um, I mentioned that I, I would be talking about how to take care of your own energy field. So 
care of energy field. Um, so now you know how to just trace your body with your palms and you can do that all throughout your body now. So you, you can do that now. Um, now I want to talk about two things uh, is one, the first thing is quantity versus quality of energy. So quantity, I mentioned last time that how to grow your energy, which is quantity. We're talking about quantity of energy is um, connection. So make sure that you are connected. Okay, so just we can connect ourselves right now if you haven't been connected yet. Is to just, we've done a lot of um, energy work with our heart. So I'm quite sure that you can feel energy in your heart right now. So just with the energy in your heart. So very quickly, you connect with Earth, connect to Mother Earth. So just from your heart, just Think of Mother Earth in the most loving way that you can possibly do in this moment. So just set that intention of from your heart, you want to connect with Mother Earth's heart. And then just breathe in and breathe out. and relax your body. And just feel now, feel the level of your own energy. It's for myself, I just actually feel so much more energy available because I'm connected to mother earth. And now, Let's focus on connecting with the sun, with Father Sky. So now just from your heart, you send an energy from your heart through the top of your head all the way to the sun, to Father Sky. Breathe in and breathe out. Just do a couple of breaths, just with this intention of your heart being connected to heart of Father Sky. Okay, so that took like maybe just under two minutes <clears throat> around there. So I hope you you kind of all can feel the difference now when you're connected. You feel so much more energy being available. So this is quantity. Just connect. The, the only thing is, is really connection. Um, we are always, actually, we are always connected. <clears throat> it is just that when we intentionally just, just, just have to be an intention of connecting. We feel it more. Even before we connect it, we are always connected. Why? Because um, we are all connected. Every, everyone, everything, always connected. So that's, a, that's um, I wanted to, to say belief, but then it's actually more than a belief. It's, it's actually a fact that we're always connected. It is our beliefs that actually disconnect us. We believe that because we see this body and this body is disconnected with the, it's not connected to the earth and it's not connected to the sun. And so we have the belief that we are not connected, but actually, the reverse is true. We are always connected. It's only our belief, our belief that disconnects us. So 
that's what I have to say about the the, the quantity is you, when you when you intentionally connect, then you can actually feel more because your your own belief system is handled. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the quantity of energy. Now the quality of energy. Um, I didn't do it this time for the the the, the beginning meditation. The 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 present the presence meditation. I didn't use five to eight, but five to eight is the the frequency of unconditional love. So what really brings down our the quality of our energy is really how we feel. If we feel loved, then we have high frequency of energy. If we don't feel love, then we have um, uh, the, the quality of our energy is not as pure and high as unconditional love. Are there any energy that, <clears throat> that is higher than unconditional love? Of course, the sky's the limit. However, when we're working with the physical body, um, it, so I'm now talking about how to heal yourself. You have physical body, you have an energetic body. If you want to heal the physical body, um, you don't, don't actually need to go to you know a thousand or ten thousand hertz of, of frequency to heal yourself. You just need to go to at least five to eight. Higher may not be better in all cases. Some cases maybe, but usually five to eight is enough. So let's start simple. Five to eight. So. So just set the intention that you want to raise the, your own um, frequency to five to eight. Just hold that intention in your heart. Five to eight, just hold it in your heart. Five to eight. And give yourself a little bit of time because um, our body takes a little bit of time to respond to our intention. So five to eight, give yourself maybe at least a minute or two to get to that high frequency. Okay. So that's one way to increase the, the quality of your energy. Another way is to use the five elements. So just um, this next exercise now is really to increase the, the quality of your energy field. So this is what I call a, a body scan. So I'm going to do it in two steps. The first step is to just show you what a body scan is. <clears throat> so I'm going to use my uh, my trusted uh, body double uh, uh, to or my model to kind of show you what the um, a body scan is. A body scan is you imagine. So in your mind, imagine that there is this energy, the field of energy. So this energy is, make it to be um, bigger than your body. So how big? Not too big, don't make it too big yet. So initially just start to have it to be just the width of your body. So if your, your shoulder is, you know, like, so you kind of know how, the width of your shoulders. So just make it that. Usually our, our shoulders is really the, the widest part of our body. For most people, not all. So you know your own body type. So make it to be the widest part of your body. 
okay? So have that amount of energy, that field of energy. So, so imagine my hand is this field of energy. So now set the intention that this field of energy has all five elements in exactly the right proportion that your body needs. So that's the intention. So now you imagine this field of energy starting to come down in your body. So just imagine it's starting to come down your body. So from start at the top of your head, now it's going to go down to your head and then move all the way down your body, all the way down your body. I'm moving my model because I can. <laughs> when you're doing this on yourself, you, you won't be moving yourself, but you'll be moving this plane of energy. So this plane of energy go all the way down your body, all the way down to, until it gets to the soles of your feet. Okay, so that's, that's the body scan. Okay, so let's do that now together. <clears throat> so I'm going to use my hand to demonstrate um, moving the, 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 like the, the um, plane of energy, just to demonstrate. When you're doing it, you can use your hand to guide you to visualize it better, or you just use your imagination to imagine that there is this. So in, in your imagination, imagine that there is this, you create this um, plane of energy or field of energy that is about the, the, the width of the widest part of your body whether that is your shoulders or any other part of your body that is wider than your shoulder, okay? So imagine this plane of body, of field of energy is starting to come to the top of your head. And now within this plane of energy, it has all five elements, so air, water, fire, earth, and ether. So all five elements in exactly the right proportion that benefits your body the most. And now have this plane of energy start to move inside your body. Come down to your brow, eyebrow level now, and then to your eye level, now to your nose, and now going to your mouth area, now to your chin, now going through your neck. Now going to your shoulders, moving to just below your shoulders. Now moving kind of close to the top of your heart. And now going through your heart area. And now moving down to the lower part of your heart. And then going to now to your diaphragm area, now to your stomach level. Now let's go through all the way down to your belly button level and let it keep going down until it goes down to your hip level. 
from your hip level, let it move through further down your body to the upper thigh. And then mid thigh, lower thigh into your knees area, that level. From your knees down to your calves until it goes to your ankles and until it moves all the way to the soles of your feet. And take a deep breath in and then let it all go. Okay. So any questions? Any comments? No questions. How do your body feel now? Very relaxed. <laughs> I am feeling it too. Yes, very relaxed. Yes. <laughs> I can totally get it. Yeah. So, so this is a body scan. Um, I'm just going to introduce it because this, I don't want to have this play shot to be too long. I just want to introduce it this time and then next week we'll do more variations to make it even more potent so that you can actually use this to heal yourself okay so just so to this time just body scan okay so um first once or twice a couple of times maybe use your hand to guide you so that it's like, because when you visually see something moving through, it's easier for you to imagine. But after you've done this maybe two, three times, you don't even use your hands anymore because you, you got it. You can actually just use your imagination to have this plane of healing energy move through your body. And when it moves through your body, um, you can actually feel your your whole body just calming down because you're giving your body what it needs because um, a little bit about self-healing is is that given enough time and resources you can heal yourself off just about anything of course you have to you have to have time you have to have all the, uh, the resources that your body need so it is just a matter of finding what our body, what kind of resources our body actually need in order to, for the body to heal itself because the body is actually a self-healing um, model. The body heals itself. Um, you don't, you can, you, can, you can see it when we are younger. If we have a little paper cut, our body heals itself very quickly. It's, it's like, <clears throat> it, it, it takes hours maybe even so when you're getting older it may take you know maybe half a day or a day for your your paper cuts to be fully healed so as you get older your body has more to handle so it's not as efficient your body heals itself so all of the um the the other like medications, herbs, all of the other things that the doctors do. I'm not saying that they don't do anything. I'm just saying that the doctors are actually just facilitating the body to heal itself. So that's, that's all healing arts is really to facilitate the body to heal itself. Given enough time and resources, the body can heal itself of just about anything. And when you have um, more resources, your body can heal itself faster, okay? So that is a little bit about 
self-healing. <clears throat> Any questions so far about anything that we've covered today? I started yawning. <laughs> mm -hmm. My body cleaning itself. Yeah, yeah, your body is actually um, starting to rebalance itself. So whatever it is that does not support you, it's leaving. So. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Okay, good. So far, so good. Okay. Um, next, yeah. So I just want to give everybody uh, a chance to ask questions. If not, then we can go into our um, clearing or meditation this evening. Going once, <laughs> going twice. Okay, so let's do our group clearing then, okay? So the group clearing this evening is really um, clearing heart, so emotional clearing. We have physical um, issues and then we have emotional issues. The, the body holds both both the physical part and also the emotional part. And when you, so this is why, that's why I want to do the emotional clearing part, just to clear out more. Cause when you, when you, when your body don't have to hold the emotional um, things, the emotional stuckness in your body, then it actually, it frees up your body's energy to heal yourself physically. So that's why uh, the selective, the clearing this evening is going to be emotional clearing. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the recording and restart again.